with another segment of Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. I just left Weight Watchers and got on the scale and the leader, she's one of the people that weigh at the scale, asked me, huh, what did you do? I said, what do you mean, what did I do? She said, you're down four pounds. I said, good Lord. Woo! I just didn't know. I had everything that I wanted to have this week, but I know I walked a whole lot. One of the days I got 23,000 steps in. One day I got 19, another day I got 13, but it all adds up for the week. I had choked down, I say choked down a little bit more water, but I'm a person that I need flavor in my water or it's just not going to be good. But the previous week, when I weighed in after the holidays, I was up four pounds. So then I just lost the four pounds that I gained. So I think I broke even, but I had a little small movie popcorn. It was kettle corn. I told put some of that fake butter on there. You know, I told you I like that butter. Put some of that fake movie house butter on the popcorn. It was so good. And at my job is physical, so I do a lot of walking. So I just tucked it inside of my jacket and continued to walk. And I guess I burned it off. I even had a few other items that maybe, I won't say I shouldn't have had because on the Weight Watchers plan, you can have anything you wanna have to eat. You can have anything. You just have to take it out of your point system. I tracked everything and this week, I was minus 14 in my 35 weekly. So technically, in Weight Watcher land, that was a, um, a bad week. Oh my God, you've used all of your weeklies. You're over your weekly. You're in your minus zone. So I'm just like, ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I was really, really surprised. But like I told you before, easier said than done, you have to burn the calories that you're taking in. The majority of us don't. We eat a whole bunch of crap all week long, all day long, every single meal and snacks too. And we're not exercising. So a lot of the uh, good part of my week was just getting in all of that walking and I made it conscious. I even had a, a three pack of cookies one day from um, Walmart chocolate chip. I ate them slow, they were good, and I walked because I was at work walking, so it all worked out. I'm just really um, happy, pleased with myself. I feel good. I still pretty much look the same that I looked when I gained the four pounds. I don't look any different, we'll just say that, so a lot of it's all in your mind. We want to see a certain um, size on the scale, and then when it doesn't meet up to our expectations and we're feeling some kind of way that we feel like we're going to quit and you can't quit because then when you quit you're quitting on yourself and our Weight Watchers leader her name is Lisa also she said think about this would you tell one of your really good friends the things that you tell yourself when you're being negative and people sat there and they thought about like wow, would I talk to my really good friend like that, the way I talk to myself? No. Then she had us do an exercise uh, to put something down. Um, I believe it was, uh, it had presents on it, a little piece of paper uh, to say something that you've done for yourself this week that was good. And people were really like, they were taking a big giant exam. It was like, it's hard for people to um, take uh, say nice things about themselves. You can find everything there is out there bad to say that, you know, I don't look good or I'm a big fat cow or, you know, just some things like that. And it's just, it's not true. We can't beat ourselves up constantly because we're our own worst enemy, but we can also be our own best friend. So take those things into account. And yes, I am, um, an abuser of those things too so we have to focus on saying uh, nice affirmations to ourselves and just being good to ourselves and taking some of that me time for yourself so that's pretty much 
what I wanted to say. I'm on my way to make that wonderful coffee that I so enjoy. And I got my Zero Point Weight Watcher Vanilla Bean Coffee Creamer. They were out of the seasonal pumpkin spice, so I was devastated. But I still have one more pack of that left. But it allows me to have my coffee that I so dearly love in the morning. And I can have two cups because I use uh, Stevia and then the Zero Point packets of the uh, creamer. I think when you use two in a day, it adds up to one point, which is no big deal. I've done worse. I told you I was minus 14 in my weekly, so I can certainly have a second cup of coffee with zero point creamer. Oh, so that's um, oh, one more thing I was going to tell you about my oatmeal. I don't remember if I told you about it before, but chocolate chip orange extract oatmeal. Yes, I did yesterday. I'm going to have it again today, and I'm going to have the Adele's um, apple smoked chicken sausage. I usually like breakfast sausage with my um, oatmeal, but I prefer the kind that has cheese in it. I don't know why. I like cheese, too. Kind of like cheesy buttery type thing, but I'm going to try the uh, apple smoked chicken sausage and see if I, I might actually like that and they're Adele's brand and they're only um, they're only uh, five points so I can do that so you all have a lovely day and I will check in with you tomorrow tomorrow is my finally my vacation day my two days off that I get I call them my vacation days because it's a vacation away from that job so I'm going to the movies and yes I'm going to have popcorn I had it this week I did okay I got the small one small kettle corn and I walked 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 until I thought my legs were going to fall off I walked so good this week so keep up the walking keep getting that water in flavored with some lemon or some of those uh, powder drink mix you get from the store for 99 cents uh, I use the crush brand the crush brand is like really true to taste my all-time favorite one is the grape but orange is pretty good too, Orange Crush. So they're 99 cents and you get six of the little um, envelopes. So I'm going to flavor my water with that. And I actually got some um, from the Hispanic market, uh, Northgate. No, 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 no. It was uh, Food for Less. At Food for Less, they have um, sweet limes, but they don't taste like limes. It tastes like a kind of between a a lemon and an orange but they're really good so I put some of that down in my water and it kind of satisfied me I like flavor I don't drink soda anymore I was up to a whole six pack of soda or two two liter bottles of soda that I used to drink when I was 243 that soda will be the death of you and when you drink soda it breaks down your immune system for at least six hours it just shuts it down so you're susceptible to a whole bunch of crap and then you don't even feel good and then it leaves you craving for more sugar that sugar is the enemy stay away from it because lord knows i like me some sugar but until next time i will see you all tomorrow i don't know what i'll be talking about i just kind of ramble on whatever comes out but hope you all are enjoying me because i've enjoyed you and i'll see you tomorrow